Uh, meanwhile, Donald Trump continues his assault on our courts. He will have uh, about 160 appointments to the federal judiciary. Lifetime appointments, ladies and gentlemen. Lifetime appointments. The American Bar Association has said four of them. I don't know how many uh, so far. Four of, uh, I think, about 30 or 40 he has nominated are completely unqualified, completely unqualified to be a federal judge. This is, it's probably unprecedented. They, they have said one or two, I think, one, uh, during the Bush years. Four are completely unqualified. And John Kennedy, Republican from Louisiana, put on a show at the Judiciary um, uh, Committee hearing. This is a pick for the most important court, non-Supreme Court in the country. He's a... Um, this is, this is coming after District Court nominee Brett Talley withdrew his nomination uh, last week, I think it was, because he had been uh, putting on forums sort of like white supremacy stuff. Oh. You know. So in other words, an asset? This guy, Sounds Matthew racial. Peterson. Yeah, he racial. Matthew Peterson, he is a nominee for the U.S. District Court of the District of Columbia. They handle a lot of administrative stuff. It's one of the most important countries in the uh, important courts in the country. They handle all the sort of like uh, questions as to whether or not uh, the EPA has rights to uh, regulate this, and uh, whether or not the FDA can say, "Hey, you can't put uh, lead in your food" or something. And this guy is so unqualified; he can't even. He's not even qualified to sit at the table for them to ask him questions about it. Listen to this. Mr. Chairman, welcome, gentlemen. Congratulations. Um, you can just raise your hand on this one, if you will, to save a little time. Have any of you not tried a case to verdict in a courtroom? Mr. Pitts. Um, have you ever tried a jury trial? I have not. Civil? No. Criminal? No. Bench? State or federal court? I have not. Okay. Have you ever taken a deposition? I was involved in taking depositions when I was associate uh, mm -hmm. at Wiley Ryan when I uh, first came out of law school. Um, but that that was. Uh, have you ever how, how many how many depositions? I would. Um, mm. I'd be struggling to to, to remember. Uh, less than ten. <laughs> yes. Less than five. Probably somewhere. Okay. In the Have you ever tried to take a, <laughs> a, a deposition by One. yourself? Uh, I believe no. Okay. Mm. Uh, have you ever argued a motion in state court? I have not. Pause it for one second. I just want to say, if you've ever had a horrible, horrible job interview, <laughs> where you realize like halfway through the job interview, you're like, maybe I've even shown up at the wrong place. Because I'm so not qualified for this job that I can't even answer the questions, then you may actually want to stop watching because it doesn't get better. This may, this may bring up some bad memories. Continue. Have you ever argued a motion in federal court? No. Are you a dentist? Uh, when's the last time you read the federal rules of civil procedure? Uh, the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, um, <clears throat> I, uh, in my current position, I obviously don't need to stay as, um, uh, you know, uh, invested in those on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do try to keep up to speed. We do have... It's okay, you can uh, cry. <laughs> at, the, at the Federal Election Commission, roughly 70 attorneys who work under our So our I have guidance, friends who uh, probably have read stuff division. like that. And, I, uh, um, I'm an avid reader. We oversee that litigation. We advise them on overall I read a whole strategy, range of magazines uh, provide, and um, I try and keep up with the news. Recommendations uh, and edits to any of them, and so forth all of them. With them about, I, uh, how we're what, going to handle them. If I could ask you this, sure. I'm sorry to interrupt okay. you, but we're only given five minutes for five of you. So. Sure. Yeah. When, when's the last time you read the Federal Rules of Evidence? The federal rules of evidence all the way through. Oh, would, oh, all um, the way through. Uh, 
well, comprehensively would have been in, in law school. Uh, obviously, I have yeah. been involved in... You never read it in law school. Uh, I got news for you, folks. Um, that was uh, something that we had to stay uh, closely yep. abreast of. And um, there have been some issues dealing with evidentiary issues that uh, sure. will cause me I dated to a, uh, uh, <laughs> examine those periodically. Some rules, in, you ask. In our oversight role of litigation important. decision. Any chance I could uh, run this out okay. through the whole five minutes so you don't uh, um, Well, as a trial judge, you're obviously going to have witnesses. Yes. Can you tell me what the uh, Dobert standard is? Oh, man. Whoa. Uh, no. Senator Kennedy, I, I don't have that uh, readily at, uh, at my disposal. I had that in my uh, other coat. I would be happy to take my a, other suit. a closer look at that. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that is not something really gonna that I've look at had that. to okay. uh, contend with. Um, do Prince you know Prince. what a motion in limine is? Uh, Absolutely not. Yes, I haven't. Um, I'm, yes. I'm, again, my uh, background not. is not... Uh, not in litigation as as uh, when I was I am actually a to, meth uh, dealer. Grassley. You said uh, um, I haven't had lemony to, um, or limity. Which one? Because I thought you said lemony. Yes, and no. Do a deep Because you have the sort and of I, a, and, I, and I understand a little bit and, of a, and I appreciate uh, this this line of question. I understand really funny. Uh, uh, the challenge that would be ahead of me yeah. if I were fortunate you know, enough to be a government district court judge. I understand that. I remember that time I got the path that many successful. I was like, I've never done this before. But then district court judges have taken has been a different one than I have taken. I was told this was a men with patchy beards in my earlier. Answer. I believe that the, the path that I have taken um, to be one who's been in a decision-making role um, on, Eat the clock. Uh, Eat the clock. I guess Eat now, the clock. somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 enforcement matters, mm -hmm. um, overseeing, I, I don't know how many uh, cases in federal right. court yes, the commission sir. has, has yes. uh, been a party to during my time. Yes, sir. I've, I've read your... Yeah. your Son, I just um, fucked you. Just for the record, do you know what a motion in limine is? I would probably not be able to give you a good definition right here. I'm sorry. Did you say lemony or table. lemony? Because you, um, you're eased. That's that part of the reason was like I couldn't quite. Do you know what the your, uh, uh, younger abstention doctrine is? Um, yeah, I, I've that. heard of it, but I right. again. That, How about the Pullman abstention doctrine? I, I heard. You're gonna see. You'll all see that a lot in, in federal court. Pullman. Okay. Um, any of you blog? Yeah, there you go. He went on to make sure that none of the other, um, the, none of the uh, nominees were white supremacists, uh, at least publicly. He Anyways. wanted to make sure, he said, that if any of you uh, I blogged anything in support of the KKK and Patchy Beard guy was just like, I have not. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Put it on the board. I, yeah, <laughs> Nailed I, it. I have absolutely uh, not. Um, I actually, I will even say this. Like it is first year law school. I'm pretty sure the Pullman. I, I don't remember what it is, but the I know it was a case. It was like a Texas versus Pullman case uh, that was pretty well known. I don't remember what the doctrine was, but of course I haven't been. To, I'm not. I am not scheduled to go up for my judicial hearing for weeks, and so I don't have to know that right now. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. The most important court in the land that is not the Supreme Court. This guy's going to get a lifetime appointment. And you imagine this guy sitting on the bench like, oh, I guess. Ooh. How much does he need to know to overturn worker safety directives? Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't get it. What's the point? Sure. Be a big know-it-all. Um, How much do you have to know? Senator, to I noticed you're not asking me as to whether or not I've ever held a gavel, <laughs> which I have on multiple occasions. He'll reintroduce lead back into low-income buildings. What more do you need to know? Uh, why at don't a certain you point, ask me? It's just showboating. Why don't you ask me what I wore uh, this year at Halloween? <laughs> Judge's robe. <laughs> so, boom. Uh, Oh, what he should have said. Uh, Senator, uh, you may want to ask me if I've seen every single episode of uh, Law and Order. No, he has to get really like, so I may I not know what lemony schnick it is, <laughs> but I do know what a Muslim ban is. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I could figure out how to approve right. it, even if I have no idea exactly how. Um, <laughs> excuse me, Senator, you can't handle the truth. What do you think about that? Excuse so, me, huh? Senator. The truth is the president doesn't care if I'm a glorified <laughs> blogger. I told him that he was a sharp shooter at a party a couple of months ago, and now I get this appointment. You will fast track me through now.
Senator, I'm sure there's a lot of things you don't know about. Um, when's the best time to plant uh, radishes? Anybody? Anybody? I happen to have planted radishes last year. How do you year. create a sock puppet on Stormfront? <laughs> Why don't you give that a try, you arrogant old bastard? Yes. Um, oh, let me ask you this, uh, sir. Uh, when was the last time you um, you posted something in WordPress? Hmm? Let me ask you this. Have you ever doxed a woman on Twitter and threatened <laughs> to kill her or not leave it a trace back to you so that you could be sitting here today? I don't think so. Hmm. I read a lot of magazines, sir, and I am quite sure I am up on those. I told the president that I have a law degree and that he has a great <laughs> brain, and now I am his pick. You know, what, what more do you need to know? What would have been great is if he just he just responded to the senator by going, "Case dismissed." <laughs> <laughs> That guy. I have dismissed the case. <laughs> His experience there is why I stopped putting JavaScript on my resume. <laughs> I object. Uh, an objection overruled, sir. I'm sorry. Unsustained. What do you think about that, Senator? <laughs> I hope that guy does. At I long mean, last, have you no uh, what, decency? What is amazing is that guy didn't just get up in the middle and go, you know what? I get it. I'm going to go now. <laughs> you win. <laughs> wow. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.